Hi, I'm Arvind Singhal, and I welcome you to Just Legends, a series that profiles legendary individuals whose work has inspired the creation of a more just and humane world. Jerry Sternen, citizen of the world. Jerry spoke many languages and fluently. He spoke Mandarin and Vietnamese and French and a few others. Jerry worked for the Peace Corps, first as a volunteer and then later in life as a director of Peace Corps in many different countries. He worked with Save the Children for many years, again as director in many countries of Africa in Asia. I first met Jerry in July of 2004 at a conference in New Hampshire. Jerry made a five-minute presentation on the positive deviance approach to social change. This was the first time that I'd heard about positive deviance and a light bulb turned on. Soon after our meeting in New Hampshire, Jerry and his wife Monique invited me to Boston to give a lecture at Tufts University where they had launched the Positive Deviance Initiative. He insisted that I stay with them. He asked me what I'd like to eat and cooked me an Indian meal. He of course later told me that he had cooked for Mother Teresa and Nelson Mandela when he served as the chef in the house of the president of Harvard University. Jerry had a zest for life. He was Mr. Humanity. We were unlucky to lose him early. Here is Jerry Sternen in his own words talking about the positive deviance approach, an approach that he held very dear to his life and practice. Positive deviance is a problem-solving approach which suggests that the answer to very complicated mysteries very often lies right in front of our face. Positive deviance is based on the belief that in every community, and a community can be defined as a village, a group of commercial sex workers, and a brothel, which will give examples, a corporation, Within every community, there are certain individuals whose special practices and behavior enable them to find a better solution to a problem than their neighbors who have access to exactly the same resources. Positive deviance from the, the go-get in fact, it's quite different from best practices. We're not starting from a best case scenario. Best practices are developed in a hothouse climate, and you, you create the best practice within the context of your, your needs, your organization, et cetera. On the other hand, positive deviance starts with a worst case scenario. Within the context of this problem, who would be the least likely to succeed? Who's at the highest risk? And yet, and yet, among that cohort, they've succeeded. By definition, it's always culturally appropriate. Very often when you have a model and you try and take it someplace else, it fails. Best practices often fail. Not invented here, they're not us, it's different. But by definition, we're discovering the positive deviance within this community. So it's within your cultural context, your social context, et cetera. And for that reason, this approach is being used now in countries all over the world. Because it's not so much a model. It's not a model. It's an approach which enables the community to discover at this very moment before anything changes, before we experts come in, before we hypothesize a solution, it's a way of discovering the one or two people or entities within the community who have already found a solution to the problem 
despite the fact that they have access to no special resources. With positive deviance, the discovery of the fact that the answer exists today is within the community. That's critical. The next critical step within positive deviance is not to tell people, okay? It's not transfer of knowledge. It's to get people to adopt and to practice those new behaviors. The focus is not on transfer of knowledge. The focus is on getting people to practice and act on those new behaviors. In PD, we say it's easier to act your way into a new way of thinking than to think your way into a new way of acting. PD enables us to act today. Although most problems have complex and interlinked causes, the presence of positive deviance demonstrates that it's possible to work to find a solution today before all the underlying causes are addressed. Positive deviance focuses on practice rather than knowledge. In the uh, field of development, international development, the KAP is the normal way of thinking of things. You change people's knowledge, that changes their attitude, and that changes their practices. PD does that backwards. It starts with changing people's practices, which changes the uh, attitudes and knowledge. The Chinese character, written character, for crisis is made, the Chinese are ideograms, right? And the, the ideogram for the word crisis is made up of two separate ideograms. The first one is danger, and the second one is opportunity. The PD provides us, within the context of whatever the problem or crisis is, it enables us to find the opportunity to solve that problem. Thank you. Thank you.